Hello, welcome to the first video um, from the HoloLec program at Swansea University. So we've just got hold of about 13 HoloLenses and the plan of the kind of what we're doing is to try and figure out can these devices actually be used to help teaching and so as we go through the project we'll be posting videos of the kind of things we're developing and things we're trying out. If you're a lecturer at Swansea University you can get in touch with either me, Sean Walton um, or Tom Owen about getting involved and actually giving us some ideas. Um, so I'm recording this video ahead of the SALT conference, uh, which is happening tomorrow. Um, and I'm showing off an app, that a prototype I've been making, um, to try and help teach behavior management to teachers. So a really tricky thing when you're, you first are a student teacher or a trainee teacher is positioning yourself in the classroom. Where do you put yourself in the classroom so you can see everybody and kind of keep an eye on kids and make sure that they're actually doing their work? And so I've made a very simple app that tries to simulate that. So I've made it in Unity. Um, in the future, I'll try and do some videos to show you actually how, what it's like developing on the HoloLens, to try and give you an idea of the um, like limitations, what you can do, what you can't do um, with a device. So what's going to happen is that the room is going to fill up with a bunch of these eggs. And these eggs represent kids in my class and they have two kind of bars on them. There's the first one is like a behavior meter. And if I'm not looking at one of them, if I'm not looking at a kid, that behavior meter is gonna go up and they're gonna start talking louder and louder because they know that I'm not looking at them. And you can actually hear them starting to whisper. The great thing about the whole lens is that the whole thing is, there's positional audio, so I definitely can hear exactly where the chatter is coming from. Now another way that you can interact with things using HoloLens is um, using voice. So I can actually, this might not work so well because I'm talking, it's gonna to struggle to recognize um, the keywords. So I'm gonna stop talking a second. Shut up. And by saying shut up, the bar goes down. Shut up. Okay, so I can't actually see the bar around that side. Um, shut up. Shut up. Okay, so the other bar you can see, the orange bar, is like a confusion meter. And so as this is like how well the kid's getting on with their work, and when it gets to the top, it's telling you that they need you to go over and help them. So let's say I want to help um, this kid here. So I'll come over to them, and if I get close enough to them, you see the little smiley face, and the orange bar will keep going down but I've still got to keep thinking that all I'm not looking at any of the other kids in the class. Shut up. So you can imagine in a room, a bigger room, like I'm kind of limited by space because there's actually walls here. I'd have to position myself maybe to help this kid so I can help and still keep an eye on the other kids in the room. So I'm going to exit out of this for now. So yeah, so the idea behind that would be that you could get these, you've got different kids in your class and you could set things like, does this kid get confused easily? Do they need a lot of support? And so that confusion meter can would go up, go up faster. You could have a kid who misbehaves like more easily. So their misbehavior meter goes up faster. And then you ask the trainee teacher before they start using it, where do you seat these kids in the classroom? Do you put the kids that are going to misbehave together with the kids who need a little bit more support? Or do you put them on opposite sides of the room? How do you do it? And you can experiment with these different kind of seating arrangements and, and kind of get to try these things out in a, a kind of safer environment before you're actually going into a classroom um, and having to do it in real life. Okay, so I hope that was interesting. Um, let me know what you think of this idea. And um, if you want to get involved, just get in touch, leave some comments. We love to hear ideas of, of what we can do with this stuff. and how this could help your teaching.